Hey guys, it's Annie Margarita Yang back with another Annie Yang financial video for you today. Today I will be doing an AI headshot review of Hot Pot AI. The whole reason why I am doing these reviews is because I want to find out what is the best AI headshot generator out there. I will be giving talks at colleges and universities, and one of the things that college students and recent college graduates are struggling with is they need a professional headshot for their LinkedIn profile, but a professional headshot costs around $300 to $500, which is money that they don't have. So I'm trying to see if there is some sort of AI-based solution that is both both cost effective, but also gives the kind of professional results we're looking for, where the headshot comes out looking natural and realistic and resembles the original person as much as possible. So I'm doing these reviews out of my own pocket, you know, out of my own funds. I'm going to pay for about 20 of these to find out the best one. So you know for a fact that these are honest reviews. They're not biased because someone else is paying me to say this. Um, so let's get started with hotpot.ai today. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pay for 800 images because what I do is I always get the one that's most expensive to really see what are all the options that we get for the output. Okay, so I am female. It's asking me what kind of hair. It doesn't even ask for what color hair, just natural, bald, or shaved. <laughs> natural, okay, style. Hmm. I think this is the way to go because this one is the most professional looking one. Upload five images of the same person, see requirements. Good images, bad is close eyes, weird face, dim lighting, bad filter. Face is too small, meaning it has to be more zoomed in and not a normal face. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's upload. Headshot uh, input. I guess I'll add this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And maybe this one. Face is too close to the edge. Interesting. Are these images too big? Let me try again. Maybe this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Less than 60% of image height. Okay. Guess I'll upload this one and this one. All right. All right, results will be in 60 to 90 minutes. I'll wait 60 to 90, but I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Hey guys, so I am back. I just downloaded the images from Hot Pot AI Headshots and they came out very white. I had downloaded them before I started recording because on the website, it doesn't let me zoom in to see the picture bigger. So I figure I should just download them and then show you the full size. So you can take a look. It makes me look very Caucasian. Now, I can't tell if like the problem is 
these AI headshot generators cannot generate one that like resembles me or like anyone with good resemblance, like making it look natural and good. Because it seems like over and over again, the trend is that they all like to make me look more Caucasian <laughs> than I really am. <sighs> I can't tell if it's, if it's like the generator is the problem or it's just like, in general, these are more suited to be for people who are already Caucasian. And then like if, you, you, if you're Caucasian and you upload these photos, then you can say, yeah, it's a really good service. And I feel like I cannot give an honest review at this point for many of these generators because they like to whitewash me over and over and over again, except for, what was it? Try it on AI. And then multiverse AI is a very close second in terms of resemblance. But yeah, I mean, what, what to do? I feel like in order to get an honest review, I have to use pictures of a white person, like maybe a white friend of mine, and then do all of them for my white friend and see. But then I feel like I'm not giving a good recommendation because then what about Asian people? Or what about black people, right? I was reading an article about an MIT student who was also Asian and she tried uploading photos of herself to these AI headshot generator websites over the summer and she had the same problem like it gave her <laughs> like blue eyes and made her, made her skin super duper white yeah I cannot cannot recommend hot pot AI but that's because I'm Asian and it makes these photos look nothing like me. So I cannot in my good heart recommend this service. I think that's it. I think I'm almost nearing the end. How many photos did I get? Let's see. Almost there. That's it. That's the last of it. Not a recommendation. All right. If you enjoy these reviews <laughs> and seeing the results of, of this one and the others, what you can do is you can head over to annieyangfinancial.com, go to the book resources section, scroll down to chapter 16, and here it says AI headshot generators. That's how you can find the article. You can click read. And then over here, I will be continually updating this portion of the website after every review video that I make. And I will be, you know, showing all of the results that I got from all of these ge different generators so that you can see. And I upload the same pictures to all of them. Well, you know, hot, sh hot shot, hot, hot shot, no, hotpot.ai. I could only upload, I think, five pictures. So that's maybe that's why it doesn't resemble me at all. Um, yeah, but many of these, like, I really like try it on AI. You know, I will be updating this website most likely over the weekend. By the weekend, I should be done reviewing all of them. And then I will sort what I recommend from top to like what I really don't recommend at the very bottom. So I will be resorting this, this list on this article um, once I'm done reviewing all 20 AI headshot generators. If you enjoy these videos and you find my career advice to be helpful, then I highly highly really appreciate it if you could support my channel financially by heading over to annieyangfinancial.com and getting yourself a signed copy of the five-day job search book all you need to do is head over here click on the orange buy my signed copy now button and add the book to your shopping cart and use the coupon code win w-i-n for a 10 percent off discount on the signed paperback copy. If you're on the fence and you're not sure whether you want to buy the five day job search yet and you just want to see if it's worth investing any money in, you can head over to the audiobook section. The audiobook is free. So you can put in your name, your email address, and then you can, you know, sign up to get a free 
copy of the audiobook. But the audiobook is five hours long, and you're going to realize, gee, this is 49 chapters, and this is so much information. Wow, you know. And the only way to really reference the the book because of the way it's layout, like the layout is such that like you read, then you implement, you read and you implement. You want to like reference this book. It's more like a Bible rather than something you read once through. Then after you get the audiobook, get the signed paperback copy. I swear, it's really good. That's it for you guys today. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos in the future and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.